<laughs> right now, when you flip through your TV channels, you find that when you get to channel 43, there's not really all that much on it. In fact, there's just a lot of snow, nothing, static. Well, that could change because the FCC is considering awarding Virginia Beach a UHF TV channel all its own. Before that can happen, though, a complicated process of information gathering by the FCC must take place. Now, the commission makes the decision, but we have comments and then reply comments, which means everybody that commented or initially will probably see the opposing comments, and they have their opportunity to comment on that. When all the commenting is over, prospective broadcasters are invited to apply for the license that the FCC will award. So far, a Virginia Beach concern, Ocean Broadcasting, has initiated the process to get the commission to allocate an ultra-high frequency station to the state's largest city. Some area broadcasters don't want it. For example, CBN, through its owners, Continental Broadcasting, has filed papers opposing the new station on economic grounds, saying the market size cannot support another broadcast outlet. And these are the normal type of objections anytime you get more competition into the area. On October 20th, the FCC closes its file on the subject and begins to consider the pluses and minuses of another station coming on the air. It is likely the commission will come down on the side of the new Channel 43, since the assignment meets all the requirements of space separation and other technical considerations. In similar situations, the stations have been uh, allocated. So before long, Virginia Beach may in fact gain a TV station. Then comes the competition for who gets to broadcast on it. In Virginia Beach, Howard Jaffe, The Daily News.